Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today, as you can see, we got a first day of snowfall in Belarus. That's why I got my inspiration to show you and explain how actually we celebrate New Year and Christmas in Belarus. And is it worth it for foreigners to come here and celebrate it in Belarus? So keep watching! First of all, we have uh, this celebration for almost two weeks. So we start on Catholic Christmas, which is on 25th of uh, December, and celebrate it for almost two weeks till Orthodox Christmas, which is on 7th of January. During all this time in whole Belarus, we have an amazing magic atmosphere when everybody, you know, on holidays, uh, there is a super lovely decoration all around the country. It's not only in Minsk, but everywhere. Even even in village. We, of course, enjoy, you know, corporate nights, somewhere the restaurants and uh, all this, uh, like fireworks in the evening. So it's absolutely a magical, lovely time here. And if you ask me about the nightlife in uh, Minsk during this uh, lovely time, of course, it's uh, very, very active. People are constantly going out. You know, there are so many corporate uh, events uh, when companies are organizing that and going out with their co-workers. So all the restaurants, by the way, will be pretty full. So please book a table in advance. Uh, by the way, actually, I did for you also before the video where I showed the best restaurants in Minsk. But I would like to mention here the other one named Marble. It's a new one. They opened it just in uh, this June and I was there on this opening. It was crazy full. People were waiting for available table. Uh, the chef is very very talented guy so definitely is one of the options for you here once you're coming to Minsk. And about nightlife areas it's of course uh, three our most uh, famous probably streets uh, for nightlife. It's uh, definitely Zibitskaya International Street. I think it's my favorite and also October Street which is uh, more for local people. In these locations you I'm sure will love it so much to hang out in the night especially. And I also know that it's quite popular between foreigners to book a big suit at some of the hotels and enjoy celebrate the New Year night with friends. Uh, same you can do here and I know some of you, you are doing like that. And normally for this uh, purpose you choose uh, Double Tree by Hilton, which is in the city center. And of course there is a reason behind that, because uh, once you're um, inside you can enjoy every night the amazing firework uh, which uh, government organizing for people during these celebrations. And of course it's amazing, uh, the hotel itself is very good, you also can find their H Sky Bar, which is uh, right now of course more for uh, guys who are playing casino, but still you can also go there just normally like a guest. And there are also some other restaurants like Amber, pretty high quality, but I'm not so much sure about the food. But anyway, and also Bean and Leaves Cafe on the first floor where you can get a very nice breakfast, uh, many nice sweets. So all this you can do. And uh, also I would like to mention that the timing uh, when, you know, one hour before the new year and one hour after that, all the restaurants normally closed, all bars, everything. Why? Because uh, workers, uh, they would like to spend this time with families. And in general, for us, it's, it's very important. That's why everything, you know, like kind of stop operating. <laughs> but I still think that you will find some taxis inside of the city, but better, you know, to reach the, the destination before the new year. And that's why, again, for you, like a foreigner, uh, it's a good idea to organize some kind of home party because you probably don't have family right in Belarus if you're coming here like a tourist so you can still enjoy the moment and few times in my life I also celebrated a new year out of Belarus and I noticed in some cities like Dubai or Istanbul that it's really hard you know to reach the destination on the new year or even before or after because of the traffic jam or because you cannot find a taxi at all it's not the case here in Minsk and Belarus, you will always find a car. Probably the prices will be slightly higher than during the normal days, 
but anyway you will wait for a taxi max 10 minutes uh, during these days so, so it's not a big deal uh, also the applications which i use here it's a yandex app and one through five so this is one more advantage for you to celebrate the new year here in belarus and maybe you as a foreigner think but is it safe here in belarus it's funny because all of my foreigners who have been here, they know that here the security level is almost the same like in Emirates or Japan. It's really super relaxed, people will never steal anything. I think the only one from whom I could expect this is foreigners, because for Belarusian people it's not in our culture, it's not about us. So you can be totally relaxed, never happened to me in Belarus that something was stolen. And uh, especially during, you know, this uh, Christmas time, parties are crazy, it's crowded. But still I can tell you, it's, uh, you know, you can be relaxed about your wallet nothing will happen guys look it's 18th of november and we already got our first snow this year and we are at nemiga area here you also can find the double turbo hilton and galleria shopping center this is a building business center and on the top you can see it is the restaurant the view looks beautiful with snow and it might be interesting for you what is the process how in belarusian families our new year is celebrated so uh, first of all which we all used to do we are coming to our families so for example my family they are not living in minsk so i will drive by car and we will start to prepare the nice table so we will cook whole day it's like the main topic for the day yeah everybody will be uh, involved in the process even my father and probably my sister kids everybody will do that it's kind of you know putting us together it's really nice and it's showing that belarus has uh, all these values of family and then uh, it's some like i think around two or three hours before the new year is coming before the midnight uh, we are sitting around the table all the family and we are drinking vodka <laughs> and uh, saying thanks to the year which is uh, leaving us we are uh, mentioning all the good moments which happened to us uh, before and of course that we are very excited and uh, curious uh, and waiting for the new year and then some people they are watching the president's speech uh, watching some new year tv shows And then uh, we open the champagne and celebrate the culmination of all these holidays. After that, young people, they are going out uh, for the parties. <laughs> for enjoying the firework and coming home back uh, in the early morning, like at 7 and 8 am, and go to sleep. <laughs> Okay, but what is the easiest way right now for foreigners to come to Belarus after, you know, this, all the this story with sanctions? Well, the only one, almost the only one airlines which are still flying to Belarus is our national Belavia. As a ticket you can buy, you can order on their official website, which I give you under the video. Of course, maybe you're trying to book like a connected flight, but the problem is it does not work anymore like this. All the flights directly to Belarus uh, with Belavia can be booked only separately so like one separated ticket but there are a few other airlines like Fly Dubai or Georgian Airlines uh, in this case you can buy a connected flight so it means that you can fly from Dubai with Fly Dubai to Belarus and also with Georgian Airlines uh, which is coming from Tbilisi and I also mentioned in my previous video that uh, people from Lithuania Poland and Latvia they can come to Belarus by land border till the end of this year without opening a visa, which is uh, amazing. My friends, I'm a little bit freezing, it's really cold outside and I forgot my gloves. <laughs> so I'm gonna, home, I'm gonna go home and uh, if I missed something, if I didn't tell you something, feel free to ask me under this video, I will answer to all of this. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.